as we already know chatgpt is a progressive tool that is very much helpful for developers who are new to technology who are preparing deliverables all alone as as a freelancer chatgpt is here to help you in development in most of the technologies like java python microservices spring boot and many more it can even help you in setting up your project it can even help you in execution of your project you only should have a clear vision of the final outcome so that you have clarity on the prompts here is in this video we will see how to set up a spring boot project using spring initializer we will do it totally with the help of chat gpt considering the developer is new to microservices and spring boot we will use eclipse ide for the development purpose okay let's get started hi welcome to my channel as we have already discussed with chat about chat gpt how does it work and how is it helpful to us in my previous videos if you have not seen them earlier then please go to my channel and visit those videos you will get a good idea of chat gpt and its benefits please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet so let's get started without any delay let's start by asking chat gpt um what is microservices so if you are new to microservices and you don't know about it you want to um uh, have a, that awareness uh, like how what is microservices how does it work so you can ask chat gpt about it like what is microservices so it is trying to explain you in very easy language about the microservices so microservices is an architectural style for building software applications that are composed of small independent services right let's let you try it so uh, here i'm showing you quickly but uh, you can go to chat gpt and see it by yourself i'm just giving you a demo now if you want to know what is the difference between microservices and monolithic application you can ask it okay so it will prepare an answer for you so the best thing about chat gpt is that it tr always try to explain you in very easy and simple language correct so here it is trying to explain you what is the difference between microservices and monolithic application okay i have stopped the response so by now we have an idea like um, about microservices how is it different from monolithic application um you can ask more questions from chat gpt if you have so now let's get start uh, setting up an application using spring initializer first of all we will ask it to explain us the steps how to create a spring boot application using spring initializer okay so it will give us a steps that we need to follow okay so here are the steps it is saying go to spring initializer website first and then uh, select the project type as maven java version what is the format of package choose the dependencies then click on the generate button and download a zip file exit the zip file and import the project into your preferred java development environment like eclipse okay and you now you should now be able to run the application using main class that was generated by your spring initializer and then i go to web browser and hit this url you should be okay okay so this is that simple so now let's go to spring initializer select maven java version of spring boot uh, select the project name artifact is the project name make it as account we are creating account application okay and uh, package name will be chat gpt packaging will be jar okay now we'll select a dependency since we are not doing any uh, database interaction right now so we'll just select web okay now click on generate button okay so zip file is ready okay open it here is the zip file now you can extract it in the uh, your development environment this is my development environment from where i will import it in eclipse i know the steps but if you don't know how to import it in eclipse you can go back to chat gpt and ask it how can we import our spring boot project in eclipse environment so that we can start development further okay so these are the steps 
you have to go to Eclipse ID, file import, then select existing MyWin project. Okay, and then it will automatically import it. Okay, so let's follow these steps. So here is our Eclipse. Let's go to file import existing MyWin project. Right. Done. So here is the account project you can see. Right. So we have successfully imported our Spring Boot application in the Eclipse. This is the pom.xml. It's a dependency file that has all the Marvin dependency and Spring Boot dependencies in it. Okay. Now we want to see if our project is up and running or not. So we'll go into SRC main Java directory in that account application. It's a Spring Boot um, Java file, right? It's a main file. So right click on it and run it on Java application. So here you can see on the console that application is up and running. That's it. So see in the within five minutes we have uh, set up our first Spring Boot project with the help of ChatGPT. And uh, here is uh, the console and that is saying that Tomcat is running has started on uh, port 8080 and ap account application is up and running okay so we can go to browser and hit localhost 8080 right so it is saying that we have successfully started the application it is giving us error because there is nothing in response right now so that's why it is empty so this is how we have with the help of chat gpt we have quickly set up spring boot application in eclipse in my next video i will show you how to prepare a microservices application within few minutes with the help of chat gpt i will share that video very soon please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel to get notified for the new videos until then thanks take care bye